Hound's tongue is a terrestrial herbaceous weed native to Europe and Asia. It was introduced to North America by 1859, likely as a contaminant in crop seed, and has been reported from most northern parts of North America. Hound's tongue capitalizes on disturbance to invade areas with a wide variety of conditions. It can be found in rangeland, abandoned crops, roadsides, and other waste places, but does especially well in forest clearings opened up by logging operations and road construction. It displaces native plant species and reduces range, pasture, and crop production. The plants are toxic to livestock and humans and have resulted in livestock poisoning. The barbed fruits adhering to livestock fur decreases their market value and may increase veterinary costs. Hound's tongue is a biennial or short-lived perennial. Germination typically occurs in early spring. Plants are rosettes the first year, growing stout, branching taproots that can be longer than 40 inches. An individual plant consists of one to several rosettes on a single root system. Rosette leaves are shaped like a hound's tongue. They are up to 12 inches long by 2 inches wide, have smooth margins, and are softly to roughly hairy on both surfaces. Leaves may vary from green to grayish green. Plants bolt the second year, with stems reaching 1 to 4 feet tall. Stem leaves are smaller than rosette leaves, grow alternately up the stem, and don't have stalks. Throughout summer, flowers are produced in elongated fiddle-neck arrangements containing 10 to 35 flowers, though usually only a few are open at once. Flowers are a quarter to a half inch across and have five reddish-purple petals that turn blue with age. Each flower produces up to four nutlets that are densely covered with small barbed hooks that readily adhere to things. Seeds may remain viable for up to three years. Most plants die after flowering, but some continue to flower for one or two years. Hound's tongue rosettes can sometimes be confused with rosettes of common mullen, though mullen leaves grow larger and are much more fuzzy. Hound's tongue rosettes can also be confused with viper's bugloss, but that weed has leaves that are narrower and more roughly hairy compared to hound's tongue. Viper's bugloss flowers are also more blue and bell-shaped compared to the reddish-purple flowers of hound's tongue.